if you don't know your destination you'll never get anywhere a person that is traveling without a destination is is going on a lost cause are you traveling without a destination so welcome to the deeper life by Victor singles dlbc singles channel if you're new here uh, you're very welcome in our midst we are very happy to to, to have you we have a Instagram page called dlbc singles look for us and make sure that you follow us on all these social media handles uh, we are here for a long run we're here to help you to impact single young adults and um, people who are trying to know the will of god in marriage they want to know that they are with the right partner they want to marry according to god's own uh will you know we, we're just here as advisors mentors guides sharing our experiences from um the years that we've been married and okay so today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic an interesting topic i'm sure that some people have heard this term other people do not know what it means and that is situation what is situation what is situation some people are in this i don't know if i'll call it relationship but i call it situation and um Basically, the dictionary calls it a kind of relationship that is not considered to be formal or established. So, if you are in a relationship where ah uh, you feel that I like him, she likes me, uh, you think that you like each other, and it's not defined. Okay, there is no clear direction about where you are going. You are just in a relationship where you haven't put a label on your relationship perhaps you are just you know you're just hanging out together you just you know meet for lunch for tea for breaks for you know you just hang out together maybe uh, maybe you feel both of you feel that it's too soon to talk about where you are headed or maybe one person is not ready to to commit to a relationship to uh to to start a relationship and this happens most times with people who are in a kind of phase in their life where uh, they feel that they are not uh, where they ought to be. They are not ready for a relationship, but maybe they've prayed and they think that they are led to a certain person or both of them think that they are uh, compatible in some way and they think that they will make a good, a good um, couple. And so they are beginning to um, develop friendship that is more than friendship. It becomes such that they expect more from one another in the sense of being accountable to one another. They tell themselves what their dreams are. They tell each other uh, what they plan to do. Uh, they tell each other, and or maybe better still, they ask each other for advice on what to do. They start to feel accountable for each other. And they get into this relationship that is closer than just acquaintances. Okay? They are kind of in a situation where there's an untold, um, I will marry you or I want to be with you going on. But they are not, they've not said it in clear terms. They've not told one another that I'd like to be with you or I want to marry you. They are in this kind of, I think I like him. I think she likes me. Okay? And they have this mutual understanding where they understand each other very well. Okay, they understand each other very well. They, they kind of seem to be on the same page. But the only bad thing about this, I'll say, is that sometimes you end up assuming that this situation you are into will lead you to a relationship, to a courtship, to going to the marriage committee if you are in Deeper Life Bible Church, or going to your pastor if you are a Christian, or going further to your parents if you are, if you are, you know, if you are not, if you are not in a church or you don't have some of those um, set setups like what we have in Deeper Life Bible Church. And the lady most times is expecting Okay, let me talk from the lady's perspective, then I'll talk about the men's perspective. From a lady's perspective, she's expecting that this, this situationship becomes a relationship. 
she thinks that okay um i think he likes me i think he says oh i'm comfortable i like to talk to you i like to share my mind with you i like to get advice from you you just make me have peace i just enjoy talking to you i just find a cozy space with you all the sweet things all the right words are being said and she's hoping that this man will go to the next stage but it's not happening and she's waiting and maybe not giving any attention to people who might be interested in her or maybe someone has even gone ahead and the marriage committee has called i'm talking about in the deeper light bible church um setting now the marriage committee has called her and she keeps saying that um i think that there is somebody or her pastor has talked to her like okay what are you saying about marriage what are you uh, doing about marriage and she says um i'm in a kind of relationship that is not a relationship that's a situation the bad part about it is that you might not end up being together and the lady would have wasted her her time hoping and waiting that this man is going to formalize things or is going to put a label on their relationship. The bad part of it is that she has maybe waited, maybe you have been in this situation for six years. Anything that is, I would say, anything that is beyond a year of situation of thinking that uh, we are good together and he's not taking the step further, I'll advise that you start to ask questions that will bring forth the real label of what you are doing together okay you start to ask questions you start to try to know that okay they, what am i what are we into and uh, what are we doing together are we where are we going now what's the what's the goal what's what's our direction start to ask questions that will define your relationship do it in your best interest as a lady if you are a man and you're thinking that this woman is going to uh, marry you or she likes you or she understands you or she's on the same page with you and you do not know that this person uh, might have another man that she's hoping will look at her side but is not yet looking at her yet and maybe when he starts to look at her all of a sudden she comes and tells you that i am getting married it can bring about disappointments it can bring about heartbreaks it can bring about um is if a, a feeling of what just happened here shock can be shocked because of that that's why maya angelou said something never make someone a priority when all you ask to them is an option. Never make someone a priority when all you are to them is an option. And how do you know if you're a priority to someone and not an option? If nothing has been said clearly, if he has not proposed to you, if he has not asked you to be his wife or, or she has not said yes to your proposal, you've asked her and she's beating about the bush and she's saying, oh, I don't have an answer for you yet. Oh, I think we should wait. We're not at this point yet. And maybe she's 26 and she's like, I'm not at that point yet. And you think that you're ready. You think you can take care of a home. You think that both of you should be able to start a home comfortably. But she's posting you. She's ghosting you. He is ghosting you. You know what it means to ghost somebody? I'll talk about that in another video. Someone that is ghosting you is someone that they are there today and all of a sudden you don't know what happens. They have disappeared. That's another topic for another day. Some people are good. They ghost you. Okay? Then after two months, they just come back or they unblock you all of a sudden your, your, your phone, your calls start to go through and you're like, well, what just happened? And they are not clear about what happened. They just maybe block you from time to time when they feel that they don't need you or maybe they are trying to sort some things with their other relationship that they are expecting to become a reality. And because of that, they, they kind of kick you out of their space until when they find that that relationship didn't work out or whatever they are expecting didn't come through for them, then they come back to you. So that's why, because to avoid ghosting, disappointment, and becoming an option and not a priority, you need to ask questions. 
So my question I leave for you today is, what do, are you into? Are you in a relationship? Are you in a situationship? Where are you going? Of course, those who are in Deep Alive Bible Church know that we go through a certain process. You have to talk to your pastor and go to the marriage committee and do the, the blood test. Then if everything is fine, they ask you to go and propose to the sister. You know, there's a kind of um, flow of event that happens in Deep Alive Bible Church. But in other churches, for people who are not in Deep Alive Bible Church and they don't have that kind of setup, uh, you need to define what kind of relationship you are into. So I don't know if you have any questions. Please put your questions in the comment section. Uh, let me see if there's any way I can respond to your question. If you have any contribution, if there is something that you need to know more about this uh, topic that, uh, that I'm talking about, the situationship. What is a situationship? And as I told you, I explained to you what a situationship is. It's just a relationship that is not defined. It's not formal is not established you you have not put a label on that relationship in court that you have just hanging out together you're just taking things slow you're just getting you're, you're not saying things in clear terms and but people see you together every time like you're always eating together hanging out together going out for coffee going out for lunch and um but the relationship is not defined how long are you going to do that you need to jump out of that and define the relationship that you are into and clearly state, clearly say where you are going in that relationship or in that, in that situation. Where is your friendship going now? Where are you going from where you are right now? If you are more than one year in this situation, and because this person is always around you, is even chasing away or blocking prospective suitors from you that's a problem some people put themselves in a kind of situation even with things that they do okay they do they put profile of men on their on their facebook account <laughs> they put they do things that they shouldn't be doing for those who wear rings they, they start to wear a wedding ring or an engagement ring on their finger and they're not they're not in any relationship you're kind of putting yourself in a situation where you are blocking yourself Self, you'll be blocking yourself from prospective um, suitors or prospective people who maybe feel that they want to uh, they want to marry you or they feel uh, in their spirit that you might be the, the partner for them, but they're confused because of the signs that you're throwing around, because of the, the things that you are that you are that you're doing. You know your choices can uh, can can hinder you from getting to the next stage in your relationship life so that's practically what i wanted to talk about today um i'm just talking about that topic and situationship i'm sure many of you might have at one point in your life been in a situationship and maybe somebody might be in a situationship right now my encouragement to you today is just define that thing that you have that friendship what is it talk about it with that person that you are you are attached to that you're hanging on to define that relationship so that nobody's time is wasted nobody is disappointed and nobody is hurt at the end of the day when one party decides to come out clearly and let the other one know where they are actually going which they have not said before and they are sending the wrong signals sending the wrong vibes all along and messing up with the other person's emotions, okay? We're different beings. We have different emotional needs. We have different emotional states. And so please don't mess up with anybody's um, heart if you know that you are not taking this to anything. You are not planning to have this person for a long haul for the rest of your life. Don't stop this person from moving on with their life. Don't stop them from um, making a move with another person because you just want to keep them, you just want to be, some people just want to be in a relationship. They just want to have somebody you know, of the opposite sex that is very close to them that they want to ask advice from. And it's kind of funny, you know? It's, I know this topic is very touchy, but please, please define your relationship so that you can avoid um, disappointments 
in the future. So um, I hope somebody was blessed by this um, short life that we had. And uh, as promised, I'll always come here to uh, have a conversations, um, have conversations with you to touch on some topics that I think or I'm impressed upon to, to bring out here. Um, don't forget to leave your comments. If there are some topics that you'd like us to talk about, uh, please leave your comments in the uh, in the comment section below this video um, so that we can know the kind of topics that you want us to talk about. And we'll be bringing uh, other guests. We were supposed to have um, a guest, but for some reason, uh, we, we had to postpone uh, but hopefully next week we should have a guest who will be talking to us here live. I hope you have a great week and I hope that you are all blessed and that every of your dreams and plans for this week comes through. I pray that everything that you touch this week will turn out to be a blessing for you. The Lord will favor you as you go out and the Lord will bless you grant you all your heart desires in Jesus name. God bless you. Have a great week. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to you know that something is happening. All right? So that being said, God bless you.